Guys, I've got a really, really beautiful shipping video for you today. Uh, we have an incredible selection of guitars and I was just looking through them this morning and I just kind of have to say thanks to all you guys for the guitars you're building on our builder and, uh, and designing and then we get to build them. Some really, really beautiful pieces, so much variation. Uh, you know, you guys are really embracing all the options that we've been giving you on the 3D Builder and, uh, and that's just, it's really, really exciting to see. Actually, I really feel privileged to be able to do this right now. Uh, I've got two new things that I want to show you today. We've got the X10 Slimline here uh, and I'm going to show it to you on the Builder. A uh, really, really cool guitar. And I've also got the High Vibe installed guitar. Uh, that's a really, really cool pickup system, so you want to hear that. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I also want to tell you about a really fantastic event we had last weekend. We had the very, very first Emerald Fest. And uh, so we had a festival, a really small festival. We had, uh, I think, about 25, 30 musicians that played during the day. Uh, a small audience of about 80 people. Uh, all set out in our yard and it was just a magical, magical time. So uh, we're going to cut in a little video that I took on my phone actually just to give you a little bit of a teaser on it. We filmed the entire day. Uh, you'll see Andres in that video with his camera uh, and we'll be putting that out to you very soon. make this a regular thing we're already planning for next year so uh, so wherever you are in the world think about coming to Ireland July 2022 so I'd really like to hear your feedback on that I know there's been people have been talking about uh, you know whenever restrictions ease they'd love to come to Ireland so we're starting to think about an event that you guys could come to uh, come make a trip to Ireland make a, a two-day event here at Emerald part of your trip I think that could be really special so give me some feedback on that so first one I'm going to talk about is uh, the X10 Slimline. Uh, so we've been talking over the last few weeks about the Slimline um, X10 and it's been really cool in steel string form. But straight away I knew that it, uh, it had to be made as a nylon as well. So we made it as a standard product. We've uh, done a, a 3D design of it in the builder and uh, this is one of the very first ones that we put up for stock and it sold probably within about two hours. So, uh, so this one's going out to Sam in Pennsylvania. So Sam, you nabbed a really, really great guitar. Uh, and it's the, the first official Slimline nylon uh, leaving here. So that's, uh, that's kind of special. Now, what is the Slimline ni nylon? Uh, nice slim contoured body. It's our X10, but slimmed right down. Uh, got really great proportions. Ha still gives a really nice acoustic sound. Uh, great projection. But whenever you amplify it, it really, really performs. So this one is a pickup system that's got the six individual piezo pickups here. And uh, it's also got uh, MIDI connectivity. And uh, this really tracks well. So it gives you great versatility, you know, playing anything that you want from your, um, your nylon sounds right up into anything you want to do when you've got MIDI. Uh, beautiful inlay on this, um, the, uh, the silver vines up the neck and uh, the veneer on here is Casipo. 
and a really cool piece of an ear and then with a slotted headstock. So, uh, so we're gonna have a look at that on our builder. So if you go to th the 3D builder, choose your guitar model and choose the X10 slimline nylon. So there's a, there's a model in there for the steel string and then the nylon. So uh, as you can see, that nice slim body. And uh, as we've been talking about before, we've got all the different options here on the, on the builder to be able to choose all your different veneers or your different carbons and things. So this one is chose with a, chosen with a standard black carbon. And uh, so it's just a standard black. The veneer type on here, actually, do we have Casipo on? We don't actually have Casipo on the builder. So not all the veneers that we have in our, um, in our veneer showcase are actually on the builder. So always check that out. So not everything's on there, but let's put Kevazinga on there because it's pretty close. Um, you can choose your headstock design. So we wanted to make this that, uh, you know, depending on the look, if you want a more modern look, uh, you can have the solid headstock uh, or you can go with the, let's zoom in on that. You can go with the slotted headstock like we've got on this one. So, uh, so that's an easy choice. So you can choose that on the builder. So you can go from solid to slotted. Uh, then pickups. So this is a guitar with a lot of versatility and uh, really you need to think about the different pickup options that you might want to use. Uh, start, you know, right from having no pickup, we can have an LR bags element, really nice simple end pin preamp, under saddle pickup, uh, really gives a nice balanced tone. The Ghost Piezo, the, uh, that is the six individual uh, pickups here that are adjustable, so we can adjust it for height and intonation very quickly and easily. Also gives a very direct, very punchy sound, very powerful, uh, probably even more feedback resistance, so really great pickup system. Here we have it combined with K&K. &K. So you've got the piezos and then we've got K&K &K contact uh, piezo pickups inside the guitar. So that just picks up a little bit more of the body. Maybe you're a, a, a rhythmic player, you like to you know, hear a little bit co more coming from the strings and the body, you know, maybe like the tap on the body. So the K and K just gives you that fullness and you can blend between the two. Uh, here, you've got the Ghost Piezo uh, with the hex bander, which is what this is. Uh, so you've got the piezos with the hex bander MIDI output. Uh, or on this one, the full beans is uh, Ghost Piezo, the K and K inside, and then the hex bander out. So it's kind of like our, our top level system that we have on our X10 steel string that would have the, the magnetic here, but uh, we're substituting that with a K and K. So, uh, so that's the, the different options here. Uh, so on this one, it is, is this one. Uh, then as with all our models, you can select the hardware color. So in this case, it's, uh, it's our black. And then the inlay design we've got down here in the silver. So, uh, so that's how easy it is to, to build that uh, on our 3D builder. So really cool tool. I like, uh, I like being able to do it on our new touch screen as well. It's really cool. So definitely check out the, the X10 Slimline. Uh, I think this is going to be a really, really great guitar for us. Um, there's not a lot like this on the market. And uh, you know, if you like that nylon style sound, it's just a really great stage performer. Okay, so first guitar I've got here on the rack then is for Constantine in Bulgaria. And uh, Constantine has Synergy X7. It's our smaller body harp guitar. Uh, it's got the six sub basses and six regular uh, guitar strings on the, on the guitar neck. And uh, we have recently started moving this to the fully adjustable bridges on the harp guitar. So it's six individual piezo bridges and uh, with full adjustability and this, I have to say, is absolutely fantastic on a harp guitar. Um, I think it's a perfect pickup system. One of the great things about it is it gives great separation between the notes, great balance, and um, yeah, we've just been loving it. It just is so much more powerful and more direct than what we were previously owning or using. Um, so it's uh, definitely a great pickup system for a harp guitar. Um, this one is done with, uh, with the green carbon and uh, very, very cool. Um, so definitely, please check out the harp guitars. Now we've already done Sam in Pennsylvania, uh, Eric in California. So Eric, 
has got this beautiful piece of royal ebony coming to him and uh, on an X10 body with our, uh, our full pickup system with the piezos, the Crevo humbucker, midi, all the side mounted controls, amber back and sides and just a beautiful beautiful guitar, very very partial to royal ebony. Sean in Alberta, Sean has gone for the black carbon and uh, you know what, it's easy sometimes maybe to look over the black carbon whenever you have all these other finishes and the, the beautiful woods and different things, but I definitely never look past black carbon fiber because it's, it's got a beauty of itself and uh, really shimmers, it glows uh, with the nice silver dots there. It's uh, understated beauty, I think is, is maybe the right word. Uh, so Sean's got this X20 and uh, say the silver dots, black carbon. Uh, Andrew in Ontario. So Andrew, and this is actually nice to see this. Uh, this is one of the first we've put through with the uh, carbon with the blue weave. Uh, so it's a really nice blue thread that runs uh, through it, very subtle, and, uh, and just really makes it stand out and pop. Um, it's got uh, our adjustable bridges with the, the piezo, and uh, it's also got a K&K &K inside, so you can blend between the two. Uh, all comes out of a, a mono or stereo jack. You put a mono in there, it's a mono output, put a stereo cable in, and you get uh, both pickups split. Um, so that's really versatile that way. So uh, yeah, that, that's a, it's a really cool carbon. Um, let's just compare the two. So side by side, it's not that much difference, but you just see that subtle blue shimmer that comes off it. So, so that's going to Canada as well. Now from Canada to Australia, Alan in Australia. And uh, Alan's got an X20 with Pau Ferro. Uh, love the colors in the Pau Ferro. It's always just a really nice kaleidoscope of colors, all these different shades of browns and uh, ambers and golds, and then amber back and sides. Beautiful, with the uh, element pickup system. So I'm gonna move a little bit faster because there's a lot of guitars today. Uh, Jason in North Carolina, and uh, this is, talk about gold. Look at that golden koa. Really cool. And uh, then a great combination with that is the, uh, is the fretboard inlay uh, done here in gold. And then an amber back and sides. And then from gold to even more gold, Stephen in Oregon, uh, he's gone for um, the uh, Spalta Chen Chen on top. And uh, the vibrant weave with amber on back and sides. And it's a great actually way to see the difference between the two. So it's both amber, but that's with regular standard carbon. And uh, my left hand is the vibrant weave. So it uh, just depends, you know, whether you want the more subtle look or something that just pops more. Uh, it's a good choice between the two. Now another one of the vibrant weave is going to Claude in France. And uh, another piece of Pau Ferro with uh, some really nice markings on it, really great graphic detail going on here in that piece of Paul Farrell. Uh, beautiful designs. Uh, got the Celtic knots up the neck in gold, gold hardware, and uh, the vibrant amber back and sides. Then we've got Jeffrey in Arizona. Jeffrey's got uh, camphor burl. Uh, camphor burl is a beautiful burl. It was really quite a, a strong golden color. I think goes really well with the, the vibrant amber back and sides. And uh, it's got the black tuners. And um, yeah, that's a really nice color combination there. Hands in Germany. Another pile ferro. Um, I think we're probably starting to run low on pile ferro because it's been very, very popular recently. Uh, Paul Ferro with the, the rings, uh, ring inlay on the fretboard in white. And uh, the darker amber back and sides. And, uh, oh, I should say this is actually an X20 nylon uh, with the, uh, the adjustable bridge and piezo. And uh, that custom slotted headstock. So it's a really nice, cool guitar. So now, high vibe time. So Leslie in Ohio. 
Leslie has got uh, an X20 Coca Bolo, nice piece of Coca Bolo, and uh, it's got the um, the leaves, uh, sorry, the Celtic vines with leaves in gold uh, and lay on the fretboard. Gold tuners, amber back and sides, and a high vibe pickup. Now, have you come across a high vibe? So, what high vibe is, um, you've probably seen some of these uh, systems before, you know, like the uh, the tone wood everybody's quite familiar with. Well, High Vibe is a built-in version of something like that. Um, but what it does, it's got little speaker drivers built into the top of the guitar here. And effectively what it's doing is it turns the entire top of the guitar into a speaker. And it allows you to, to modulate and modify the tone of the guitar, uh, add reverb, uh, add delay, add various different tones over the top of it, all without having it plugged into an amp. So it's really fantastic, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's not just fun, it's actually a really, really great creative tool. It's a, it's a great musical tool, and that's why we're starting to add it. We're gonna be adding that onto our website quite soon. Uh, we'll be doing a launch with it. Um, so this is sort of a pre-production one going out there, but it's a really great pickup system. We looked at it, and initially I was a little bit skeptical. I thought, you know, maybe this is a little bit gimmicky or something. It's not a gimmick, this thing is really cool. It's got a fantastic um, system when you actually plug in. So uh, in this preamp, it has a lot of onboard effects. Uh, you can plug it into your amp. So it's a fantastic pickup system if you're just playing plugged in into a PA. So it's, it's not just for messing around at home. Uh, it's a great stage guitar. It's got a built-in tuner. Uh, it's got a built-in metronome. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, you power it with a, a USB-C here and uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun actually making some content with that in the near while. Um, but definitely there's uh, something really special with the High Vibe system. I'm really, really excited to be offering that across our range of, uh, of six string guitars. Now, next one up is Nicholas in Connecticut. This is Zercotti and Zercotti is uh, really cool. You've heard me talking about it before, I'm sure. It's like a patchwork. It looks like somebody cut up all this wood and put it together into a pattern and uh, really, really interesting. This one has been done with uh, black carbon back and sides, which I think is a really good contrast with uh, Zercotti because of the black lines that run through the, uh, the veneer. It's uh, uh, got a custom pickup system in here. Um, it's uh, got uh, the piezos with K&K &K and the MIDI out. So a uh, very versatile pickup system. Uh, the um, Inlay here is the, the Celtic knots and then gold tuners. So really, really cool X30, big jumbo, the big sound. Then we've got Brooks in Indiana. So Brooks bought this for a birthday present for himself and that's a way to treat yourself. Uh, Brooks has another um, X30 as well, a blue one, uh, as far as I know. And uh, he, uh, he nabbed this beautiful green one. Uh, this is a beautiful piece of quilted maple and uh, the carbon bridge and green carbon back and sides. So Brooks, uh, happy birthday and uh, look forward to seeing a, a picture of you with your guitar. That's a great birthday present. Then we've got Herbie in Arizona. Another green guitar and this is Vibrant Green. Uh, I think this is the very first Vibrant Green X30 that we've done. It's got the, uh, the Vibrant Green all over. Definitely a beautiful, bright apple green. Uh, it goes great with the gold tuners. And it's got the gold inlay down the neck here. Uh, I think that's a great combination. It's got the piezo uh, with the uh, K&K &K pickup system. So it's the, the adjustable, or the, sorry, the blend pickup system here on the adjustable bridge. Then Bobby in Washington. Now, this is not a standard color for us. Uh, this, uh, this turquoise blue, or, uh, or yeah, I think it's a turquoise is what we would call it. Um, but it's a stunning color and uh, we may make this a standard just because it's so, so nice. Um, over quilted maple and a beautiful piece of quilted maple it is too. And then vib vibrant back and sides. And I just think this is such an eye-catching guitar. Um, got the inlays done here on the neck and uh, the, uh, the adjustable pickup system uh, with the uh, K&Ks here. 
definitely a standout color. So as I say, it's, it's not one of our, st our standards, but we may consider doing that in the very near future. Allen in North Carolina. So check out this Kestrel. So this is a, a Kestrel arch top uh, with camphor burl. And uh, that camphor burl that we highlighted earlier, it's very, very similar and uh, really vibrant color on this. Uh, amber back and sides. And uh, this is one that was from a while ago that uh, we had some customization on and uh, some beautiful text there on the back of it just to, uh, to really personalize it for them. Uh, gold tuners. Pickup system on here has uh, got the Crevo, uh, Piezos, and uh, also MIDI. So the MIDI has become something people are very popular with. And uh, it's nice to see MIDI actually being embraced a little bit more recently. Um, I know Boss have just brought out uh, their new pickup system, I think it's the SY1000, uh, which is a really, really incredible system. Um, gives so much uh, versatile tones. We've been having a lot of fun with it here. and. Uh, you hear all kinds of tones coming out of this place whenever they're, they're checking out the MIDI systems. Um, got the Celtic knots on the fretboard. So, uh, Alan, that's definitely a, a standout instrument in the lineup. But actually, they all are. I mean, it's hard to... And this is, I'm kind of running out of words to keep describing our guitars and keep it fresh. It's like everything's beautiful and everything is wonderful, and, and they are. You know, it's... Uh, Maybe you need to send me a list of, of descriptive words that I can use to describe the guitars. Um, now, Black Quilted Maple is something that I actually absolutely love. It's a personal favorite of mine. And uh, it took us a long time to figure out how to make it work for our specific manufacturing system. We found a method of dyeing the, the, the Quilted Maple that, that works really, really well for us. And, um, it was something I wanted to do for years, could never find a way to do it. And then a customer pushed me, he said, you've got to find a way to do it, and we did. And uh, we've been doing it quite a lot recently. Uh, this is the first time we've put it on a Chimera. And it looks fantastic on there with uh, black carbon back and sides and the carbon bridges. I just love how the, the black quilted maple just contrasts with the, the carbon fiber on the bridges. I think the, the colors just blend really well. and. Uh, I'm glad we were able to find a way to make that work because it's just a great look. So that's going to Brian in British Columbia. And then the last one we've got going to Dave in Indiana. So and Dave's been waiting a little while for this guitar. Uh, we were trying to figure out uh, the best way to do this for him. Um, but this is a, an acoustic bass based on our X20. So it's the standard body dimensions of the X20. Standard neck, standard neck dimensions, and uh, just modified for uh, for five string, and uh, it's got nylon bass strings on it. So it's a it's a bass tuned uh, uh, E A D G C. So it's got a high C on it. That sounds fantastic. I was uh, really really impressed how this came out. Uh, that beautiful purple in the vibrant weave, and um, we were just talking about this this morning. Um, you know, it's really unusual uh, configuration, but because we were able to do it in exactly the same parameters as our standard guitar, this is something if you were to ask me for, we can build for you. I know I've been talking about all the customization that we're not gonna do, but we can build this. This, is, uh, this is actually fits in quite well. We can just modify a bridge to suit. And, uh, and I think the headstock holds the, the five bass tuners really well. Um, so, uh, so Dave, thanks for being so patient with us. And uh, I hope you love this guitar. It's really cool. So that's it for this week. Uh, another marathon. Um, I think I need a drink of water after that. Thanks for watching it. As I say, guys, I just I love the variation that you guys are buying off us at the moment. Uh, we, we feel really privileged to be able to do what we're doing. Um, the look has changed. The, everything just is getting better here. Uh, our new factory, we're hoping to be in using some of that in the next... Uh, four to five weeks. So if you've been wondering how that's coming along, it's coming along really well. Uh, we've got a new riff on here. We've got new walls going up, new windows coming in. Most of the wiring is done. New lighting going in the next couple of weeks. Uh, new equipment coming in. It's exciting times. So, uh, so thanks for being part of the journey. I know there's people that watch this faithfully every single week. And really, we really appreciate you uh, being part of our journey, part of our story. And uh, wherever you are in the world, have a great week. Uh, and I will see you again very, very soon.